Okay. Now, uh, the basic premise of everything that I teach is going to be based in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and it's going to be control portions, okay, where you're uh, grappling with somebody. You're going to learn the basic control points, all the top side control points. You're also going to learn um, dominant positions versus submissive positions and then neutral positions. Uh, you're given eight top, side, eight top side control positions that you're going to work on. You're also given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu positional hierarchy. And basically, the easiest way for me to explain it is um, if you've ever been in the ground, you've rolled around with a buddy of yours for a few minutes and then maybe 30, 45 seconds in, you're completely gassed. You really look back and you don't have a clue on what the hell you were trying to accomplish. Um, at this point, you're going to learn what you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to accomplish positional dominance, um, whether that be mount, you know, rear mount, side control, whatever. You're going to learn how to flow in and out of all those positions. So just as they start to move, you can move to another position and keep them on their back. The main thing I try to teach, this is the biggest thing, is that one officer can control one officer. Nothing, there's no crazy holds that you have to have where you have to have two, three officers on one guy. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you, hey, well, uh, if, if they actually really start to fight you, uh, just, just resort to street fighting because that's not a fair thing to tell people. I'm going to try to teach you how to control people on the top side. So what we're doing is we're doing the top side control drill. This is something that recruits will do every single day in class. They'll do 25 reps of it. It'll take about an hour. It's a good workout also. If you learn this and you keep coming back, um, looking at this, it should keep you pretty proficient. You'll be able to figure out how to do it, um, even if you come to my class and you forget, okay? They're all by numbers because most of the positions in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu you can't put a name on or so dang on many of them. So we'll go by the numbers. Uh, one is simply a forward-facing side control. So I'm going to be here, okay? Um, key point is I'm going to be around his arm. His shoulder is up on my knee. I am underneath his elbow. I'm not putting my fist. I'm just grabbing the back of his tricep right here. I'm going to go to position two from here, okay? The key point is I can't let go of his elbow. I cannot let go of his elbow until I get to position two. I'm going to push off of my drive leg, rolling him slightly up. I'm going to kick my leg up underneath, and I'm going to come and block his back. And I'm still not letting go of his elbow. Here. Now the hand is going to slide down behind the head. I'm X-gripping my hands into position two. I pull him tight. I let him settle in. I drop my shoulder across his cheek because if he can't turn his face to the right, his body can't go to his right. So as he turns to his right, he's meeting my shoulder and he can't go anywhere, okay? X grip. I'm going to pause from position two and show you X grip. X grip is basically um, I will take all my fingers, all my thumbs stay here. I will grab over the top of my thumb and I'll hold here like this. I can switch it and grab over the top. There is none of this. My thumbs stay at my side of my fingers right here. So going back to position two. I'm in position two. When I'm ready to go to position two, I'll tell people, tell uh, the police recruits or anybody else taking the class to cut the throat. That is exactly what it sounds like. I'll come back so that way I am not up above his head. I will cut the throat with my elbow, drop the elbow here, pinch tight, fold the arms in, walk in, and I grab the elbow. Okay. What I'm not wanting to do here is I don't want to go from position two over the head to position three because he can grab at my forearms and push me off. I've now lost my position, so I cut the throat. It's a timing deal. Come back, cut the throat, lock into position three. Now go into crossbody. I'm going to flare the inside elbow, and there's a little hole right inside of here. I'm going to just bring everything is still tight. I'm going to bring my hand right inside, and now I'm going to tell them to spread their arms out. We're in full-on crossbody position right here, okay? Now, to go to four, I'm going to block this knee, the play side knee, same side knee that my arm is on of his body, okay? I'm going to put my foot on the ground, and I'm going to sit out, okay? I'm now in basically one facing this way. Back up, his arms are across his body. I block this knee because this blocks both of his knees from hitting me in the face, if I block just the right knee, his left knee comes up and pow, tags me right in the face. So I'm right here, I'm good. Now, we're going to go to north-south position from here or position five. Tell everybody to check position one, which is on the, the play side of his head. So I will go down here, my head comes down. I will steer the hips, all right, with my thumbs in. Make my, my uh, hips light. 
I will kick out. I'm now above his head, completely sprawled out. All my body weight is just over his right ear. This is check position one. Um, check position one will be on the opposite side, whichever way you start from. So if I say check two, I'm going to go the opposite side of his head. Lift up and settle in over here. Okay? Now, I'm going to jump through to position four again. So I pin the arm with this hand. I've still got control over his waist. I'm going to turn my body and I'm going to jump over. And I'm right back in four on the other side. All right? Now we're just going backwards. Cross body. I'm going to cut the arm to get back to three. Now I'm going to open up, reverse cut the throat to get to two. Now we're on our off side here. This is the side that we didn't start on. I'm going to catch the elbow first to go into position one. Sit out. Now we're halfway through one rep. Recruits will do 25 reps of this, take about an hour. So what we've done is we went all the way around the body. Now we're going to go all the way back for one solid rep. Two. Cut the throat, go into three. <clears throat> Flare, go into crossbody. Block the knee, sit out to four. Steer the hips. Kick back to five, check in the first position. Check the second position. Pin the arm, jump through to four. Almost there. Now we'll go to crossbody. Three. Two, catch the elbow first, sit out, and we'll go to one. Okay. This drill um, is called pommeling, and what it'll teach you, teach you an effective way to stay on top of somebody if you can get them on their back. Generally, in any type of encounter, it's going to be a race to see who gets on top. If you know these positions, you're going to be able to stay on top.